God. <laughs> you don't want to be in my video? My cat is so big now, and he's in his biting phase. But I just love him. Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about Percy Jackson season two and what I think is going to be in each episode of the show. I did something kind of similar to this back when season one was coming out. They gave us like a list of the episode titles. And so I took that and tried to figure out what was gonna be in each episode. So when we get the official episode titles for season two, I'll probably make another video actually trying to break down what's gonna be in each episode. But this video is going to be me trying to figure it out and guessing before we even know what the episodes are going to be called. And I'm actually kind of excited to do this because I think it's going to be interesting to look back on this once we figure out what the episode titles are called so I can see if I was right or if I was really off. We'll see. Another reason I want to do this kind of different type of Percy Jackson video is because this upcoming weekend is D23 in Brazil and Percy Jackson has a panel there. So fingers crossed we get footage this weekend. That would be insane if we got like real solid footage from season two. It's literally all I've been thinking about for the past week. So that is why I decided to make this video today because I literally can't get Percy Jackson season two out of my head. So let's go ahead and get into it. So episode one of season two, I think is either going to be titled, I play dodgeball with cannibals or I get a new cabin mate. But I think episode one is going to span chapter one through chapter five, meaning episode one will have all of the following. Percy dreaming about Grover, some scenes of Percy and his mom, Percy at Meriwether Prep with Tyson, the Grey Sisters taxi, Percy, Annabeth, and Tyson arriving at Camp Half-Blood, the fight with the mechanical bulls, Chiron leaving camp and Tantalus coming into camp, and I think episode one will end with us finding out that Tyson is Percy's brother. Chapters one through five of Sea of Monsters is about 65 pages. Now let's compare this to season one. Season one, episode one also spanned chapters one through five as well. And for The Lightning Thief, that equals about 74 pages and resulted in a 38 minute episode. So assuming like the writing process is the same, we can assume like, we can kind of assume X amount of book pages equals X amount of screenplay written. So if right now we only have 65 pages as opposed to 74 pages, what I'm working with is that the runtime of episode one would be shorter than season one, episode one. However, I think this leaves time in episode one of season two for them to add in maybe a flashback scene of Thalia, Luke, and young Annabeth, which is something you guys know I've really been wanting, or it gives them time to just add more camp scenes, which I would also really love to see. I know a lot of people wanted more like moments at camp from season one. I just think that chapters one through five is like a good amount to span episode one. I think it's good that episode one would not end once Percy gets to camp because then that would be a little bit too similar to season one. Plus, I feel like it's really important to like end your first episode of your season with like a really good cliffhanger to really pull people in. And I feel like revealing that Tyson is Percy's brother, revealing that Tyson is a son of Poseidon is like the perfect cliffhanger for your first episode. Moving on to episode two, I think it's going to be titled, We Board the Princess Andromeda. I think episode two is going to span chapters six through chapter eight. So that means episode two of season two would have the following in it. We'd get to see more moments at camp with Percy and Annabeth working on the chariot race together. They have their fight. So then Percy works on the chariot race with Tyson. Percy has more Grover dreams. Of course, obviously the iconic chariot race. We'd see Percy, Annabeth, and Tyson washing dishes. They would talk about the golden fleece. There's the whole campfire scene with the rest of camp. Percy and Annabeth are gonna ask for a quest, but the quest is gonna go to Clarice. Hermes will show up. The hippocampi are gonna take them out to the Princess Andromeda. And we're going to end with the reveal of Luke being on the ship. Now I know, that sounds like a lot for one episode. I noticed this while I was trying to figure out what would be in each episode. Although The Sea of Monsters is the shortest Percy Jackson book, there's a lot packed into there, like genuinely. Because I just listed a whole lot of stuff. But in Sea of Monsters, chapters six through eight only equal about 54 pages. 
And if we compare this to season one, season one, episode two spanned chapters six through 10 of The Lightning Thief, which equals about 92 pages, and that resulted in a 44 minute episode. So even though everything I just listed for the hypothetical season two, episode two sounds like a lot, page wise, it's almost half of what season one, episode two was. So hypothetically, I think this leaves a lot of space in the runtime for season two, episode two. I definitely think they're gonna add in a couple of scenes. This would be a really great time to add in more of those camp moments that I just mentioned. Plus, I think that also gives this episode plenty of time to focus Focus on the chariot race. With a budget increase of season two, I expect the chariot race scene to do laps around the capture the flag scene. No pun intended. I also think that instead of the hippocampy picking up Annabeth, Percy, and Tyson like at camp and bringing them to the Princess Andromeda, I think they're gonna add a lot to this scene and Sally Jackson might actually have to drive the three of them to Port Jefferson to get to the ship instead. And for more explanation on that theory, you can go and watch my last Percy Jackson video if you haven't seen it yet where I talk a lot about stuff that we've seen behind the scenes of them filming out in Canada. So although my hypothetical season two, episode two only covers three chapters of the book, there's a lot going on in these three chapters and I definitely think it's more than enough to span a whole episode and easily get up to a 40 minute runtime. Not to mention if they do a double episode premiere like they did with season one, the reveal of Luke being on the Princess Andromeda at the end of episode two would be a phenomenal cliffhanger. Moving on to episode three, I think it is going to be titled, I have the worst family reunion ever. I think episode three will cover chapters nine and 10, meaning that all of this would happen in season two, episode three. They're on Luke's ship. So we get to see Luke talking to Percy and Annabeth. We find out that Luke poisoned Thalia's tree. The trio escapes the ship on a lifeboat and end up in Virginia Beach. This episode would have the whole monster donut scene, the Hydra scene, and it would end with Clarice showing up and saving them. So in the Sea of Monsters book, chapters nine and 10 equal about 26 pages. Compared to season one, season one, episode three spanned chapters 11 and 12 of The Lightning Thief, equaling about 28 pages and resulted in a 45 minute episode. So they're about equal in pages. So I would expect about an equal runtime. This part of the Sea of Monsters book is one of like the most ideal places to add a flashback for Thalia, Luke, and young Annabeth, both because Annabeth brings Percy and Tyson to one of the Half-Blood safe houses that she knows about from her time with Thalia and Luke. And also because a flashback right after Annabeth finds out that Luke poisoned Thalia's tree, I think would be really powerful. The reason I keep hoping that they're gonna give me flashbacks of Luke, Annabeth, and Thalia is because I really want to get into all of their relationships with each other and how they all intertwine and what they mean to one another. I feel like season one just barely scratched the surface of it. So I really hope season two goes into it way harder. And I think a really great way to do that is to give us flashbacks. I also think they're going to add a fight scene between Percy and Clarice after Clarice saves them from the Hydra, which is something I also talked about in my latest Percy Jackson video. So that's something that can also add some runtime to this episode. Moving on to episode four, I think it'll be titled, We Check Into Cece's Spa and Resort. And I think episode four will span chapters 11 and 12 of The Sea of Monsters, which means that episode four would have all of the following in it. We would see everybody on the CSS Birmingham. Percy would have another Grover dream. They enter the Sea of Monsters and have that whole fiasco. Ares shows up on the ship, which is really exciting. The CSS Birmingham explodes. Tyson dies. Percy and Annabeth are on a rowboat. They find their way to Cersei's Island and Cersei's Island happens and then they escape on Queen Anne's Revenge. Chapters 11 and 12 of The Sea of Monsters is about 37 pages. Compared to season one, season one, episode four spanned chapters 13 and 14 of The Lightning Thief, equaling about 21 pages and resulted in a 34 minute runtime. One of the biggest critiques of Percy Jackson season one is that a couple of the episodes had a really short runtime. And although I personally didn't really mind the runtimes, I don't think it's a coincidence that my two least favorite episodes of season one happen to be the shortest episodes. I hope in season two, the episodes are a little bit longer, but more importantly, I hope that they're consistently longer because I think the episodes being about 40 to 50 minutes is like the perfect runtime. I think that's just the right length. I don't think they need to be any longer than that, but I also don't think they should be any shorter. So if the episodes for season two were consistently like in the 40 to 50 minute range, that'd be beautiful. 
So even though my hypothetical episode four only spans two chapters, I expect and hope it will be longer than season one's episode four. And also, although I have my episode four ending with chapter 12, I could also see episode four ending in the middle of chapter 12, like right after Percy becomes a guinea pig. I think that'd be a really funny cliffhanger. Moving on to episode five, I think episode five will be titled Annabeth Tries to Swim Home. And I think episode five will cover chapters 13 and 14, meaning it'll include the following. Percy and Annabeth escaping Cersei's Island, the whole scene where Annabeth explains why she doesn't like Cyclopses, Percy has another dream about Luke and Kronos and this dream includes Thalia. Of course, the iconic siren scene and it would end with them arriving at Monster Island. Chapters 13 and 14 of Sea of Monsters is about 28 pages. Compared to season one, season one episode five spanned just chapter 15 of The Lighting Thief equaling about 22 pages and resulted in a 40 minute long episode. I think episode five of season two of Percy Jackson is going to get the same treatment that episode five of season one got. And by that, I mean, I think it's going to be a very Percibeth heavy episode, which I do not mind at all because I absolutely loved episode five of season one. And although I have my hypothetical episode five ending with chapter 14, it would probably be best to end the episode with Percy and Annabelle Beth arriving at Monsters Island, like I said, or maybe ending with them finding the other lifeboat from CSS Birmingham. But I don't think it needs to go all the way through episode 14 because I think the episode should focus mainly on the siren scene. I also think episode five of season two will follow season one, episode five's lead of cutting back and forth between Percy and Annabeth and whatever they're doing to a different character. For example, season one, it was cutting back and forth from Percy and Annabeth in the Tunnel of Love to Grover and Ares. I think season two, episode five, will probably cut back and forth between Percy and Annabeth to maybe Luke on his ship. I honestly almost completely forgot about the fact that the Percy Jackson series has told us that they're adding their own original character that's not in the books. Her name's Allison and she's going to be on Luke's ship with him. And I feel like they wouldn't be adding an original character if they didn't intend to spend more time with Luke in the show than they do in the book. So I think episode five might be a really good time to do that. Moving on to my hypothetical episode six, I think it will be titled, I Go Down With The Ship. And I think it'll span chapter 15 through chapter 17, which means it'll have the following. Percy and Annabeth will find Clarice and Grover on the island. Annabeth is going to be nobody and distract Polyphemus. Percy's gonna save Grover and Clarice. We find out Tyson's alive. Polyphemus sinks their ship. They're saved by the hippocampi. They wake up in Miami. Clarice heads back to camp and the episode would end with Luke kidnapping everybody else and bringing them back onto the princess Andromeda. Chapters 15 through 17 of The Sea of Monsters is about 26 pages. Compared to season one, season one, episode six spans just chapter 16 of The Lightning Thief equaling about 23 pages and resulted in a 34 minute episode. So another short one. What's kind of insane is that these three chapters in the Sea of Monsters is only three pages longer than one chapter in The Lightning Thief, but I feel like so much more happens. <laughs> Like there's so much packed into just these three chapters. At this point, it gets kind of hard to guess what is going to be in what episode and like where they're gonna cut certain things off. I think it's easier to guess what's gonna be in earlier episodes than later episodes because you never know what they're going to add into the show and where. So you don't know like how much certain chapters are gonna get like pushed back, if that makes sense. But I think it makes sense to end episode six with Luke kidnapping everybody. But I can also see a reality where that's where they end episode seven in the show. I just feel like if Luke showing up in Miami was at the end of episode seven, the finale of season two would be incredibly rushed and I would hate that a lot. So ideally, Luke showing up in Miami would be the end of episode six. Moving on to episode seven, I think it will be titled The Party Ponies Invade. I think episode seven will cover chapter 18 and chapter 19 of The Sea of Monsters, meaning it'll have the following in it. Luke taking all of them onto his ship. Luke's whole plans are revealed. Luke and Percy have a sword fight. The party ponies show up. Percy and Chiron talk about the prophecy. Chiron reveals that Kronos is his dad. The party ponies bring everyone back to camp. The fleece is placed on Thalia's tree. We see Hermes again. And Percy gets a letter 
from his father, Poseidon. Chapters 18 and 19 of The Sea of Monsters equals about 27 pages compared to season one. Season one, episode seven spanned chapters 17 through 19 of The Lightning Thief, equaling about 53 pages and resulted in a 41 minute long episode. I don't think all of chapter 19 of The Sea of Monsters is going to be in episode seven. I think ideally I would expect episode seven to end with Percy getting that letter from his dad. And then the second half of chapter 19 would be in the finale, which we're about to get into right now. Episode eight and the final episode of season two, I think will be called The Fleece Works Its Magic Too Well. I think episode eight will cover chapters 19 and 20 of The Sea of Monsters, meaning it'll have the following in it. We'll see the second chariot race happen, which is the back half of chapter 19 that I just mentioned. We're also gonna get the Persebeth cheek kiss, which I think is perfect for the finale. Tyson goes to work for Poseidon. Percy has another Chronos dream. And Percy also dreams of Poseidon. And last but certainly not least, we find out that Thalia is alive. Chapters 19 and 20 of The Sea of Monsters equals about 24 pages, give or take because I'm dividing chapter 19 and half. Compared to season one, season one, episode eight spanned chapters 20 through 22 of The Lightning Thief, equaling about 21 pages and resulted in a 42 minute long episode. The ending of the Sea of Monsters book is so iconic from the Persebeth cheek kiss to Thalia being alive. I don't want this finale to feel rushed at all. So if it feels like everything I just listed off is not enough to like substantially fill a finale, I don't care. I don't want it to be rushed, I don't. Even though it's gonna end on an insane cliffhanger, like I want us to take our time in this finale. I think having the second chariot race in the finale is going to be perfect for it because it gives the episode like just the right amount of action but it'll still feel like a finale and it's still gonna feel like things are wrapping up because this action is taking place at camp. And like I mentioned earlier, we want to see more camp scenes. We wanna see more things happening at Camp Half-Blood. So the finale spending a lot of time at Camp Half-Blood I think is a perfect way to do this as well. I think they can take chapters 19 and 20 and spread it out into a nice, perfectly paced finale. So that when we get the reveal of Thalia at the very end, it's, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna taste so sweet. That, however, is going to do it for my hypothetical episode breakdown of season two of Percy Jackson. To recap, this is what I think all the episode titles will be. Episode one, I play dodgeball with cannibals or I get a new cabin mate, but I've, I'm leaning more towards the cannibal one because people are gonna read that and be like, what? Episode two, we board the princess Andromeda. Episode three, I have the worst family reunion ever. Episode four, we check into Cece's spa and resort. Episode five, Annabeth tries to swim home. Episode six, I go down with the ship. Episode seven, the party ponies invade. And episode eight, the fleece works its magic too well. Now, this is just what I think they're gonna divide it as. I'm very excited to get the actual episode titles whenever, like probably next year, honestly, but who cares? Whenever we do get the official title list of the episodes of season two, I am going to be so excited to be able to look back at this video and be like, oh my gosh, I was right, I was right. Ooh, I was so far off, that's crazy. Because I remember when the season one episode titles came out, there were some episodes that only covered one chapter of the book and I was like, how are they going to make this a 40 minute long episode? And to be fair, they didn't. To be fair, they did not. One of the ones, I think there were two that were just one chapter. One of them was episode five, which they did really well. And then there was episode six, which was the Las Vegas episode. And they did not spread that chapter out well enough at all. So I'm definitely curious to see if I'm right, if I'm wrong, if I'm somewhere in the middle. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me how you think they're gonna divide the episodes of season two. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you think that I divided the episodes horribly. I'm very curious. I think I did a decent job. And if I didn't do a good job with dividing the chapters, I think I did a decent job at picking what the episode titles are going to be. I think that those are like the best chapter titles within the book. So I have a feeling I got like maybe six out of eight of those episode titles right. But like I said, we won't know until we get the official titles probably sometime in 2025. Hopefully though, this weekend, like I said, we get some footage from Percy Jackson season two at D23 Brazil. Very excited. Fingers crossed. I hope it's a good time and I hope they give us a lot of content because it's been a while. I feel like it's been a minute since we've gotten anything from them. 
I can't believe the year of 2024 is almost over because before we know it, it's going to be 2025 and we're going to be in the year of Percy Jackson season two coming out because we know it's coming out in 2025. They've told us that. We just don't have a release date. So that's crazy. But like I said, comment down below and let me know what you think of my episode titles and how I divided the chapters. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. As always, make sure you check out all my social medias, make sure you check out my podcast with my boyfriend, and make sure you check out my Patreon. I've had a very busy past couple of months, so posting on some of these platforms hasn't been as consistent as I would like it to be, but I'm officially like done with being busy. Like All the busy things I had lined up for this year are done. They're in the past. I'm very much looking forward to spending the next two months just sitting in my apartment doing nothing but making content. So make sure you check everything out, especially my Patreon. We're going to be doing a lot over there for the rest of the year, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. But that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.